to another video. Did not sleep well last night, quite a lot of pain and I woke up feeling quite sick but to be honest I think that that was more because I'm feeling very anxious about my doctor's appointment today. This is the phone appointment that was originally with my doctor but then was changed to a doctor I've literally never spoken to before. Really all I want to try and get out of this appointment is for them to continue my prescription for my antiemetic for cyclozine because that is so important and I, I really I need it. I can't do without it. As I said, I've never spoken to her, I've never met her, so I don't know what she's gonna say or what she's gonna be like. Don't really know anything, and <laughs> I think I've said this in the past, but not knowing things does not play well for me. It really makes my anxiety so much worse. So yeah, feeling very stressed and very anxious, just fingers crossed, hoping against hope that it all goes well. <sighs> I can't even tell you how glad I am that that is over. I was so anxious right beforehand. My heart rate was the highest it's been in a long time. And what was worse was, with phone appointments, you only get a vague time, you don't get an exact time. So I had around 12.30, but they said it could be anywhere between 12 and 1. And it got to 1 and the doctor still hadn't called and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> In fact, it wasn't until about 20 past one that they actually called me. So I spoke to a really nice doctor. She was actually really confused as to why I had to have a review because you usually only have reviews once every year for medication and it wasn't due until next May. So she didn't really know why I had to have it, but she was fine with just continuing it and she said it's probably just someone being really cautious. So yeah. Everything's fine, I can continue taking cyclozine, which means I don't have to feel really, really sick all the time, which is great. So relieved. I know I said that uh, a couple of weeks ago when the initial prescription problem was sorted out. I said I was so relieved, but I think actually this is the most relieved I've ever felt because I was so stressed and just so worked up about it. So yeah, really happy. <laughs> But uh, I'm having a serious adrenaline crash now because, as I said, I was really anxious and my heart rate was going crazy high and now I'm just utterly exhausted. I do have a bit of a headache but it's not terrible so hopefully it'll stay like that. I was planning on trying to have a shower and washing my hair today but I think I'm going to leave that until tomorrow because I'm way more at risk for passing out today after all that adrenaline than I normally would be. So I don't think having a shower would be a good idea. So I'm just going to relax now and bask in feeling so relieved. <laughs> I don't know what happened last night, but I spent most of it awake, feeling very, very sick. I took an antiemetic as I went to bed, as I usually do, because it allows me to go off to sleep and usually works for most of the night. But I woke up a few hours later feeling really sick, and I was like, well, I can't take another one now because it's only been like three or four hours, and that's really not that long. It should still be working. And then at five... I woke up feeling really, really sick. And I was like, right, I'm just going to take one now because there's been plenty of hours, you know, it'll be fine. So I took one, managed to go back to sleep for about an hour and a half. But then again, woke up feeling really, really sick. And I was like, what's going on? Because the antiemetic should still be working. It definitely should still be working. So I have no idea what's happened. And the nausea then continued for most of the morning. It's now 11 and I've pretty much only just finished eating breakfast. I haven't dared take my tablets yet because for some reason that always makes me feel more sick than eating. I think it's all the liquid that I take them with. It makes my stomach bloat a lot and then makes me feel more sick. Generally, my stomach has been better the past week or so. So I'm really hoping that it's not going to go back to the way it was sort of two or three weeks ago. I was supposed to have counselling this afternoon, but I just emailed her to cancel it because I don't think I'm capable of stringing sentences together properly and holding a conversation. Plus, I'm starting to get a headache because I didn't really sleep. So a headache combined with still feeling quite sick means I really am not going to be good for anything today. So I'm just going to take it really easy, stay in bed, watch tennis, obs, and yeah, hope that the nausea lessens. I honestly am so confused as to why it was that bad last night because nothing I did yesterday should have made it like that. I didn't eat differently. I didn't eat, even eat a lot. I'm going to say it again. There's no rhyme or reason to Lyme. And I thought the previous night was bad. Last night was even worse. I've been awake since 4am. And that's bad even for me. <laughs> yeah, woke up at 4, feeling really sick. Took a tablet 
And although the nausea did get better, I then was just so bloated and my stomach was hurting so much that I couldn't get back to sleep. Or actually, that's not quite true. I would like drift off and then it would wake me up and I'd have to sit up and burp because my stomach was so bloated. And then I'd lie back down again and I'd drift off and the same thing would happen again. And it was just repeated and repeated and repeated until it was like seven and I was like, F this, I'm just giving up now basically. And so I just watched tennis on my phone. <laughs> I don't feel too sick now. My stomach's just really bloated and uncomfortable and I also feel really shaky and unsteady on my feet because I haven't slept. That's something that always happens when I don't sleep. I'm just Bambi on ice basically when I try and walk. But one thing is happening today that I'm very very excited about. My iPad's being delivered. I ordered it last night and if you order before seven you get next day delivery which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm really excited. I just, I can't wait. <sighs> Today's been challenging. As I said, when I filmed the last clip, I wasn't actually feeling that sick. So actually eating breakfast wasn't that difficult. But then, about an hour later, I started feeling very, very, very sick. And actually I was sick, which actually doesn't happen that often at all. And I know that that may seem strange to say it because I have so many GI symptoms, especially the last couple of months, but it's very rare that I do actually vomit. So it wasn't a very nice morning, obviously for that reason. I think it was just a combination of things that made that happen. The being awake since 4am and I think this is going to sound gross again I've got oral thrush quite badly at the moment and that always gives me a really horrible taste in my mouth if anyone else has had it they will totally know what I mean so I think that really contributed to it and then just the general GI issues I'm having it was just like a perfect storm that meant there was no chance of my breakfast staying down but then this afternoon something very very exciting happened my iPad arrived I mean it's really hard to show it at this angle <laughs> it's really good and I really love it and I'm just so excited to use it now because it's just going to make everything so much easier and so actually despite the fact that my morning was rubbish I'm actually in quite a good mood so yeah very happy haven't been sick again so that's a good sign I managed to eat a little bit of lunch and I just hope to god that I get some more sleep tonight because I think I'm looking tired even by my standards I'm uh, fit to drop pretty much so I'm just gonna attempt to eat some dinner and then have like a seriously early night well, luckily last night I did get a bit more sleep. It's kind of funny actually because I did wake up feeling sick in the early hours of the morning and I knew I was going to have to sit up and take an antiemetic tablet and I knew that would mean that probably in the next hour I'd be awake from bloating and pain and burping from drinking the water to take the tablet with. So I checked the time and I was like, please don't be 4am, please don't be 4am and it was 5.20 and I was like, I mean, that's definitely the happiest I've been for it to be like that early. So it was pretty funny. And uh, sure enough, I was awake for about an hour and a bit maybe, but I did manage to go back to sleep for a little bit. So that's definitely a win. Today has definitely been better than yesterday. I haven't thrown up. I've spent the day just enjoying my new iPad, which I'm actually falling in love with. Because the two previous days have been so bad, even though today has still been kind of bad, by comparison, it's been amazing. So I'm feeling pretty happy about today. And I'm gonna go to bed and just fingers crossed that I get a decent amount of sleep. Today has been one of those days that makes me think, or realise I should say, that I just don't understand my body at all because my GI symptoms were so much better last night. I woke up at quarter past six but only because I was really hot and I was in pain, not because I felt sick. And that is just so vastly different to what the last few days have been like. But I haven't done anything different, so I just... I don't know, you know, I don't know what to do to make it better. I don't know what I'm doing that makes it worse. If I'm doing anything, maybe it's just, you know, random. It's very, very confusing. As I said, today has been better. I have had quite a bit of nerve pain in my face, which makes me quite irritable. It's funny that different symptoms have different effect on my mood. Pain makes me irritable. Nausea makes me sad. <laughs> and fatigue makes me frustrated. So I was quite irritable this morning, but I had a shower and I had it a bit hotter than usual and that really, really helped my pain. So that's really good. I wanted to show you a couple of other things that came in the post this week. The first one is this t-shirt. 
and it says detox like a MTHFR, which is a very niche Lyme joke <laughs> because MTHFR is a gene mutation that lots of people with chronic Lyme disease and other chronic illnesses have and it means that your body can't detox properly basically. It doesn't produce um, enzymes to help break down toxins, which is obviously part of the reason why you are so sick. And it was made by someone who I follow on Instagram and also on YouTube. On YouTube she's Chronicles of a Chronically Ill Girl and she vlogs about chronic Lyme disease and all her other health conditions. And she made these t-shirts and I just loved it. I love a niche joke and yeah, this is very niche. <laughs> the other thing that came in the post is these cashmere fingerless gloves. You obviously can't see them very well in this light. I got them off Amazon, which I don't really like to buy off Amazon that much because they don't pay any tax. But I saw these on like a Buzzfeed list. You know they do those lists of products that might interest certain groups of people and one of them was how to stay warm in the winter or something along those lines. And these were on that list. They're so warm and I like the fact they're fingerless because I can continue to use phone and stuff. I have really bad circulation so my feet and hands are always cold in the winter and that's really difficult with my hands because it's really hard to type and use my phone and write or if I wanted to knit it's just makes everything so much more difficult. So I bought these and they are so so warm and I was a little bit skeptical as to how warm they would keep my fingers because obviously the fingers are still exposed but they they really do. This week has really been a week of a lot of exciting posts. I always enjoy weeks like that. So today marks the end of another week, the end of another video. This week has been well I mean physically again not good. <laughs> Not good at all. My GI symptoms have yet again reached new levels of unpleasantness. But on the other hand, you know, it has been a good week because I sorted out my prescription issues that I was having with my doctors and I got an iPad, which I'm loving. So on the whole, I guess it's not been too bad. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again next week. Bye.